everybody, it's David here. I'm going to uh, make this video quick, short, and sweet. This video is strictly going to be color correcting um, photos for our church. Um, I'm going to still put this up on YouTube so anybody can watch it and they can maybe help them with doing some color correction with their photos. But strictly this is just for um, my church and some of my friends and that way they can get better at doing color correction. I have a photo that I um, took here. I'm going to open this up. <clears throat> This photo I took during one of our counter services of our drum cage. It's very dark, but I still feel like though you can still see some of the definition of the sticks here, his hand, and the symbols there. So I definitely feel like this photo has a lot of potential to be um, revived. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to do this one in Photoshop first, then I'm going to show you how I do it in color. I'm going to show you how I do it in Lightroom as well. <clears throat> Sorry. So, right when the um, thing opens up, it opens with Camera Raw. It's a great thing. This is very similar to, like, Photoshop. One of the first things that I'm going to do is use my histogram. Your histogram um, will help you better color correct and make sure that your colors aren't too extreme. Your blacks and whites are at safe levels. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to bump up the exposure here. Kind of bring some color back into it. There we go. When you also do that, you're going to get a lot of grain in your photos, but that's okay. We can still fix that here in a minute. Um, now we've got our whites and our blacks still pretty messed up here. So let's bring our blacks up a little. And then let's bring our highlights down and our whites down. Uh, that's someone from my work. Oh, actually, I don't want my whites down too much. Let's also bring our shadows up. Okay, so far I like what I've done here. Now we're gonna get a little into the color correcting. So if we go over to here, which is our HSL and grayscale, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the saturation and you got luminance and you got your hues. I don't really mess with hues, it's not my thing, but saturation I do mess with. Right now, there's a lot of blue in this photo. So if you were to take and bring the blues all the way down, you got a pretty dark gray photo. We're not going to do that. Let's bring it kind of right there. Doesn't do anything. All right. So I brought my blues down just a little bit. Um, next thing that you can do is I'm actually wanting to bring the drums back to life. Bring the reds up a little. Purples. Bring the purples down a little bit. Because I got rid of the purple tone that you saw in the symbol up there. No, let's mess with luminance. With luminance, this is, watch what it does. Kind of messes with the light color, like, how much light's bleeding through. I'm wanting that kind of be right there a little bit. I'm there a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to probably play with this photo a little bit more um, once we open up Garage Band, not Garage Band, but um, once we open up Photoshop itself to actually manipulate the photo. Now here is our details um, section. If we zoom in here, let's zoom into 100% on the photo really really grainy luminance will help reduce the noise we're seeing so let's bring it up quite a bit got rid of a lot of that grain now let's zoom back out to the original photo still got you know the outlines and everything here going on but we don't have that grain that we had going in the photo very clean photo and that's what people like they don't like grainy photos they like clean crisp photos but we have lost a little bit of the detail, but we can fix that here in a second. And Oh, and if you notice now up at our histogram, our whites are at a safe level. So if we were to print this, it's at a very safe level. Um, supposedly there's a yellowish, blackish tint, but we don't really care because we're not going to print this. But so far, it's a much better photo than what we had it at. Now we're going to open it up actually in here. Oh, hey nice photo I didn't take it but just kinda of playing around with it for fun
Okay, so now we got the photo opened up in Photoshop to manipulate with. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command J. That duplicates the layer. Another option you can do is right click and duplicate layer. I know some commands, I just like to make it short. The reason why I duplicate the layer though is because I don't like to destroy any of my original photos. I like to keep my baseline. So if you're doing something and doesn't look good, you can go right back to the star and just continue off from where you left off. We use layers and always make it to where it's not damaging the photo. Another thing that you can do is you can right click on that image, convert to smart object. This is another way that you're going to be able to protect your photos and anything that you do to your photo. So one of the things that I'm going to show you how to do now is I'm going to put a filter over it. This is how we're going to bring back some of the um, sharpness to the photo. We're going to go to sharp, unsharp mask. Some people may do it differently, but I'm going to do it this way. Kind of put some grain back in the photo and everything, but we're going to bring the threshold up a little bit so that way it's not so noticeable. If you do it at like zero, really top, really strong grainy photo. I don't like that, so I'm going to bring it up to about an 18 there. Um, you can always play around with the pixels. I typically do about five or so. Actually, I'm going to do about five, two point. And a percentage is the ink, um, the intensity of it. So I always usually run it a little high, about 120. And we're going to click OK. So one of the ways that you can tell the difference here is um, the symbols, his hand and everything got some more definition, as well with the drums. So if this is like your visibility, so without the visibility, not really defined around the symbol, kind of lost some of the lines there. And his hands look like they're smoothed over. Bring it back. Got that nice outline of the symbol there. His hands now kind of have some definite some darkness around them so that way now they got some definition in the for them. Now um, also too right here you've got this to where if you wanted to double click on it brings it back up to where you can bring it the difference back to the photo and continue to play around with it more. I'm gonna cancel that for now. Next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring a curves layer in here. This is how you can better color correct the photo. You can bring the darks up, make it really dark, but what I'm going to do is because it's really black, so I'm going to bring that up, but then I'm going to bring this down. This is kind of the best way to figure this out is over here is your really bright whites um, highlight section. Well, um, it's your whites. Kind of right here is your midtones, which is coloring of like skin or reds, any kind of thing color. Right here is kind of your shadows, and this is your blacks. So I brought the black um, luminance up, brought the mids kind of down so that way it's more still kind of natural there. Next thing that we can do is we can play with this. And I'm just going to put something there, but we're going to bring this down. Notice how when I brought that down, it kind of made it a little bit darker. It got rid of the blue in the blacks there. So now kind of got a little bit more of a nice, um, I would say, oh, I can't think of the term all of a sudden, but um, contrast. You got a very strong cr contrast photo here. But from the beginning, though, the photo was very dark. You didn't have any kind of visible clarity. Now we can easily see his hand and the drums in the photo, so it's really nice. But what I like to do now is I'm going to crop this photo just because I want to be a little bit more dramatic here. I like it right here, just to crop it, to kind of give it a little bit more, I think, artsy-fartsy appeal to it. But from the original photo, um, if we bring that back up here, oops, wrong thing. So from the original photo, we're going to bring that back up here, oh, sorry. Here's the original photo, people. Grainy, very dark, can't really tell what's going on to now, bam, very live, vibrant photo. There's plenty of other things that you can do to color correct your photos. I just went over something that I always do with every single one of my photos to help bring them back. Um, the same aspects that I showed you with color correcting, you can easily do them with any photo to 
bring reds or blues out of photos. I might do one later where I have a really red photo in there. Now I'm going to switch over and make a video for um, doing it in Lightroom. So if you're strictly just doing Photoshop, here's a great tutorial for you on how to do some color correcting and some simple effects with any of your photos. Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed.